My name is Derek Thompson. I'm a professional trail builder. I've been building trail for 15 years. My role here on the project is just designing and building trails. We're here on the east side of Zion National Park, just a couple miles from the east entrance. We've built about 10 miles so far. Everything is a good variety for beginners up to expert riders. There are flow trails, there's handle trails, and there's gonna soon be adaptive trails. I'm Scott Williams, one of the owners of Deep Creek Coffee and Zion Cycles, and really excited to share with you about our project here in Zion, about working with DOMA and Zion Forever Project, creating some east side trails in a newly designated conservation easement. As many people know, there is no mountain biking inside national parks. So to be able to have that land just outside of a park boundary be open to the public and available to have recreation of this caliper, um, it's just really fun to be a part of. The Fund the Flow project to create those trails, it's just been really been awesome to be a part of. We're able to be over there and work with them and set up bike rentals. We donate a dollar from every bike rental to help fund the construction of those trails and the long-term maintenance of those trails. I'm Stephanie Lyon. I'm the Director of Development for the Zion National Park Forever Project. The Zion Forever Project has proudly partnered with Doma Coffee and Zion Cycles. The incredible power of this combined partnership, as you can see by this beautiful can of coffee, is that by purchasing a can of coffee or a bag of La Bici Coletta through DOMA, portions of those proceeds are given back to the Zion National Park Forever Project and 100% of that donation goes directly to park priority projects. In particular on this instance and in this partnership to the East Side Mountain Bike Trails um, and an incredible powerful collaboration through the Park Service, private landowners, BLM and others. So when we say it takes everybody, it's the power of collaboration of all of us coming together. And caring for our parks will always be a group effort. And that's because it takes all of us working together collaboratively in order to take care of these spaces, to ensure that these spaces are preserved um, as the sanctuaries that they are today, but also to ensure that the visitor experience is there for future generations 